All right, we're back here on the uh, small block Ford side of things. All right, what we got? As you can see, uh, we got some fresh Brodix Neil 202s. Um, Kevin did the hoops in them, obviously. New Victory valves, um, beryllium seats, you know, nice old school cannon valve small block Ford stuff. I mean, this stuff's been around forever. Well, now we're at a standstill point until we can find some parts to assemble this bad machine right here. In the meantime, we're going to come over here and talk to Chase. Yes, sir. We're going to take it away from this race car stuff, come over to the street car stuff over here, give a little bit of update on uh, this, this deal over here. So, so far, we have the turbo mounted. My uh, VS Racing 70 millimeter, polished by Joe at DCF. Um, we're moving along, we got the intercooler mounted. We got some space cut out here above the frame rail so we can run the piping. Uh, we got a lot of the aluminum piping ready to be welded together. Waiting on headers now to do the hot side. Um, some V-bands to finish up the cold side. Um, but something I want to ask you guys, what do you guys feel like we should name the car? We obviously think it needs to be a smaller amount of bloodbath because I'm Shannon's son and it's a red Mustang. So it'd be cool to see what you guys come up with on that deal too. But hopefully we'll have this thing out running in a week or two. We'll be back to racing at some smaller tracks and stuff, trying to win some money and some streetcar deals. Some other than Blood Clot, right? Yeah, that was the last some one. other than Blood Clot. We, we named his car that burned up, Blood Clot. It was um, about ready. Yeah, we, it was, you had a, the motor you had a, was in it. You had a stout motor in that one. Yeah, that thing was going to be a nice piece too. I feel like we got a little bit better piece here. So, I mean, it didn't work out, but it worked out at the same time. This is a dark block deal with some good heads. Um... It'll be fast. We hope that it ain't got a cage in it yet, but we hope to have it out and running pretty good before long. It looks a lot better than it did when it first came here. Oh yeah, for sure. We finally got finally got some room for a turbo kit. That's right. Yeah, we have to. We're gonna have to custom make some radiator mounts so we move the radiator up for downpipes room. Um, made it mounted the turbo. We had to unfortunately that we had to hide some of the gray polish work on the turbo. Just for just to make the turbo kit easier, but it makes the kit really easy. It needs like one 90 degree pipe in the intercooler on this side, maybe two or three pipes welded together to go to the intake on that side, and the hot sides are going to be really easy. We wanted to make the down pipe easy to come straight across here. So we're talking. We're going to cut a hole in the side of this fender. That way, it's like a peekaboo hole. Yeah, that's right. We're going to see. We're going to be able to see the polish one way or another. <laughs> that way you can check shaft play while you're yeah, at that's it. That's right. <laughs> just, a, we just we just zoos fast in a, a clear piece of Lexan right here. There you go. Then so you pull it off, check <laughs> shaft play. <laughs> it's got a little bit more smoke than we want. There you go. What kind of steering wheel you got in this thing? Freaking man, I cannot tell. You, you need to, you need to sell it a fill section. It is. Re it definitely yeah. looks like some fill stuff. It, it is removable and it had buttons on it, so I couldn't complain very much. But it, it definitely does look like some four banger stuff are you, are you gonna keep this thing uh painted up or are you gonna keep it um, patinaed <laughs> so i've come up with when it run, when it runs this certain number that i've been looking for i'll pull the rest of the wrap off of it uh probably put a cage in it and get it painted up pretty nice it'll be the same color but i, I think mean I'm you gonna... and pops are a body man just i know that's why we don't <laughs> want to do it though the body work you know the hour, you know the hours that it's gonna take <laughs> yeah. Shannon's Shan like, I come here on Monday, put a car back together, and y'all got me painting it in the booth the next day. <laughs> yeah, and then our then our own stuff looks like this. I got primered hood. Look, my wheels don't even match. I had to take the wheels off the old car because they had the 20s hey, on them. <laughs> look, lucky enough, them things were here. Yeah, I know. The I, fire. Came, I came here, yeah, for real, because I pulled them off for you guys to borrow on Charlie Murphy. Yeah. All right, y'all, you guys already saw a good chunk of this video. We are doing a small block Ford Nasty segment today and we have talked about uh shannon spoke a little bit about the heads I, I had some weird issue where all the clips were getting cut off something wrong with the sd card uh but we were able to get chase's clip in here so chase is working on his 8.2 deck sn95 we're gonna open up a turbo kit for that uh shannon uh he's out there racing bloodbath he was over here uh helping us with uh the small block ford 9.5 deck going in the bad apple and matt 
our resident small block forward nasty expert is going to tell us what we got here and why it's not going together right now because most of you ls guys won't understand ls is a cookie cutter of engines they're um they're kind of like a modular engine not like a modular ford but it's uh you can take the head th these heads and bolt them on and they're probably going to fit you know they don't have a ton of different stuff like small block ford you can you know different heads different intakes there's about 15 million different setups that you can run and they none of it fits together and you have to run spacers on the intake you got different like nine five deck nine two deck eight two deck eight seven deck you got all kinds of different stuff um belt drive stuff oil pan stuff it's just all over the place so that is one of the nice things about the ls is they're pretty consistent on like hey if you need a bolt if you need an ls oil pan you can just bolt an ls oil pan on it's not you need like a set of head studs head studs you know there's just a few different sizes so um that's one of the issues we ran with this um, well here let's pull the bag off the motor we'll talk about the bottom end first a TKM performance built. Speedmaster. I mean, questionably the world's fastest Speedmaster block. Yeah. We're gonna we're in titles video. The world's fastest 9.5 deck small block forward. But we're talking about the Speedmaster stuff. So when you guys click on this video because you got a 9.5 deck at home and you're like, nah, I go faster. We don't mean you. We just mean everyone out there running Speedmaster block. It's called. It's some some might say clickbait. I say it's click manipulation. Click click manipulation like that. Um, so this is a Speedmaster aluminum block. I I don't really know much about them. I don't know how fast people are going with them. I don't know if they're breaking them. You know, we're just going to go out and find out. R&D. R&D. We'll see what it takes. Uh, the casting yeah. looks... Uh, Needs all the help it, it, it is. It's a, it's, it's a China block. I mean, it, it's, you know, it's probably casted in China somewhere. And, you know, there's maybe some quality issues with some of them. Some of them not. Um... You know, this one went together fairly easy, uh, nothing crazy. So the uh, the biggest thing that I'm worried about is the grain structure of the block. So like whenever they're casting of it, you know, you don't want a bunch of air pockets in your casting and some of the stuff around here, like there's an air pocket and there's an air pocket and there's an air pocket. So if you were to cut this block and just cut it in a million pieces, you might start taking it apart and go, hey, you know, this casting, there's some porosity in the casting. Um, any of the time there's porosity, there's going to be a weak point in the, you know, casting. So if you were around here in one of these head bolt <coughs> or head studs holes, then you could be an uh, issue where it could pull out or um, around the sleeve, the sleeves could shift. Um, this one's fully filled. So they took hard block and filled it all the way up to the top of the ports and machined it down. So that will help with the uh, rigidity of the block. Uh, obviously, we're not going to be running any kind of coolant through it. So Methanol, methanol. turbo deal. Yep. So just top fuel hoops. Yep. Um, billet center counterweighted crank, uh, MGP aluminum rods, uh, diamond pistons. Yeah, so we got you know, we got all the good stuff. It's got a 55 millimeter cam, so they uh, they bored the cam tunnel out and installed roller cam bearings. Uh, this is a old Jessel drive. I like the Danny B drives. The new ones are billet, pretty badass. So if you got a small white four, you look for a belt drive, uh, Danny B or Exodyne makes a pretty badass one. Uh, they went through and degreed the cam, so it's a 117 installed on a 113. Um, they went through and checked everything. Kevin did the short block assembly, and then we were going to do the the heads. But the problem is, small block Ford, you got all these different length heads that, or all these different length head studs, different blocks, different heads. You know, it's just none of the stuff is the same. So you got. One of the problems we run into is the, these are the old ones, these are for the iron block, short thread. Uh, the aluminum block on these, this is like a 1.25 thread engagement. This is designed for two inch thread engagement, which will be aluminum, and it'll have a little tip on the end of it that'll center the stud in the block. We had some head studs that Shannon brought us. They are, um, you know, like these, this is a longer head stud. You can see the difference in thread engagement. This is designed for an aluminum block. Um, the tip has been cut off of it. Normally it'd have a little tip that would center it, but we run into issues where these just are They're too short. Too long too in long. some areas and too short in others. So, um, Colony RP, I uh, got them working on some head bolts. What are head the head bolt? What, are the, what is the exact information on the head stud kit that you need to run? Just so everyone at home that doesn't understand knows how complicated this I stuff can be. I believe that the correct length head stud that we'll, we'll have to modify them, we'll have to cut cut them and uh, th do more thread engagement in the block and then on the other side we'll have to cut a little bit off um, on the lower one it doesn't really matter because you can be you can be a little bit longer here on the exhaust port it's not going to matter on the inside of the head you can't really be any longer because you get into where the uh, 
the rocker bar rocker. goes. So obviously you can't be above where the rocker bar sits. Uh, I think it's going to be a Fontana block, which was a older aluminum Ford block. They, they're not in business anymore. They don't. You can't get a Fontana block new. Fontana block with a post 94 Yates cannon valve head. That's going to be 7500 and 6600 on the length. So the longer ones, the uh, 7500 ones are going to go down here, and the 6600 ones are going to be here. The 7500 ones, I think we're going to be fairly okay. I think the length will work out. They might have a little bit of protrusion past the nut, which is fine. These will have to be cut down. Um, so, because we need to be around 6200. So that's going to be our, our problem here. We can go ahead and toss some of these in here, and I'll show you guys what we were talking about. Here's the head. Somewhat of a badass head for the turbo deal stuff. Yeah, it's a it's a Brodex um, BF202, and these are these are good heads. They have a really thick deck. Uh, you know, you always want a, a thick deck. Helps with the uh, head gas and the rigidity of it. You get some you know stock stuff like LS stuff. If you guys watch, you know you know the LS stuff stock castings. They don't have a real thick deck. You go to an aftermarket casting, the deck's thicker. So you, you can take a four bolt head and a stock one will not go as far as an aftermarket casting and you can still be on four bolts so the, the head bolt arrangement really doesn't matter or the size it's just the deck thickness so a thicker deck um less chances of having a gasket failure then you can go see small block forward they kind of uh that's one thing they have on the ls is stock um pretty much any of the aftermarket blocks are going to have half inch head studs from yeah that's a know, shit right there that's really how they need to make all the ls blocks yeah yeah half inch head studs so um the, the tensile strength and the yield strength of a half inch bolt is much stronger than the metric bolt on the ls so um it's a good deal so we're gonna put some of these studs in here and we'll toss the head on there and kind of show you guys what we were uh the problems we were fighting with is it more challenging just to stick it on with two head studs oh that's that's mainly one of our issues right there yep yeah, so this is this one's too short so we're trying to go um the this one's like 7020 um and it's been cut down so this 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 stud that we have was out of um shannon's, out of shannon's. i don't know what they were i don't even think he knows he had an aluminum were. block at one point and that's yep. what he was running yep so we're going to get the new one it's going to be longer it's going to give us enough thread engagement because this is, you also have to remember this doesn't have a head gasket so we're going to be 52 thousandths higher um and then this one obviously can't be like we talked about the rocker bar stand bolts down here so you, you can't be above that so this one could potentially be cut down um and when we get our new head studs what we're going to do i'm going to take this back off and show you we're going to cut the coarse thread that goes in the block because if you notice we have a lot of threads protruding right here so we're going to let this screw into the block a little bit farther so that way we won't have any problems this one has this stud has the uh, tip that i was talking about the, the titty the titty it's, it's our so conversation that's what's going to center an aluminum block it's a machine down there and that helps center the stud and the block um these blocks they have about one seven hundred in thread engagement a dart block or a fontana block or shelby block or anything they have about two inches of thread engagement so a little bit more is what this stud designed for so we're just gonna have to make it work um after they get the head stud stuff figured out yeah, head stuff, stuff, you know, it, once the head studs are figured out and we can bolt the heads down, then it's just rock and roll and bolting on. The um, the intake we have, the, another problem with small block Ford stuff is you get all these head porters and you can get, you can get this same head from two different companies and the ports could be totally different. The angle of them, they do, um, the old heads, they had a bunch of epoxy on them, the ports were moved, the, side, the, the ports were shifted over, the roof was raised um all kinds of problems so you don't it's not like an ls where you just get you know ls3 intake or ls7 intake you it's know where we're pampered cid you just bolt it on there and everything lines up and it's good you got to get the intake port match it um spacer plates uh that's a nine two deck intake and then these are the plates to make up the deck thickness for the nine five so um all kinds of stuff we might end up doing a new intake manifold just because the port alignment on the new heads versus old heads are pretty substantial difference so. which is the same head so yeah it's the same exact head it's just like i said from different porters you know every porter's like i want to shift it over i want to move the valve angle or the valve location it just there's so many things um with small block four like rockers for example you can call and order a set of rockers and it's like hey you know who did the heads it's not like an ls like hey i got them from cid or you know prc or anything like that it's who did the heads because they could have shifted the valve half a degree or move this so uh, rockers aren't just a bolt on affair most of the time 
Small block four stuff's a little bit more difficult. It actually takes some, you, you need to be able to actually assemble a motor correctly and know what to look for. With LS stuff, you can get by with a lot of just buying and bolting. Yeah, guys like me that are like, hey, watch me make a thousand horsepower with this junkyard motor and I just zip it together and, and scotch bright the head and or scotch, scotch bright the deck and hit the road and go out there and make a thousand horsepower, so. Yep. All right, so one thing is a lot of you guys are looking at the deck surface on the block. A lot of these from TKM with the profile deck, it looks like there's grooves cut in here. There is no grooves. Like you cannot, you cannot even touch it with your fingernail. It feels completely smooth. So it, it looks like this. The the way the tool path goes over there, there is no grooves cut in the surface of the deck. Yeah, it it's is. just smooth as butter. Yes. So. so don't go and start carving etching stuff in your deck at home so so what they what they do with this is when they profile deck it they they lower the whole entire deck surface and then leave the sleeve raised above it that, that's um, only on aluminum blocks yeah only on aluminum blocks because um, the the material will actually grow yeah so. good sleeve retention so. <laughs> um, so yeah that's that's the motor once it's back together hopefully the headers fit that gets into another thing the um the head headers should fit just as long as they didn't do nothing crazy you, you get all kinds of stuff like especially buying these heads Another thing, stay away from NASCAR stuff. I know it's tempting, but you get you you'll end up buying a set of heads that are just unusable because me, I bought a set of NASCAR heads. Oof. Yeah, like Oof. yeah, almost dropped a valve. Oof. Yeah. So especially small block four stuff. I know it's very tempting. You're like, oh, these Yates heads are cheap, but they do all kinds of crazy stuff with those. I mean, they they shift the valves in different locations. Like you just won't get a set of rockers, or you have to send your heads to TND or Jess Oil, and when they say, okay, it's going to be six thousand dollars for us to make a custom rocker for it, it's just it's not worth the cost. So. So for all you Ford guys out there, listen to Matt. Yeah, stick to good stuff. Um, inline heads like 7721s uh brodix has their new head hunter that's what i run this is a good inline head uh edelbrock sc1s you know those heads are um good I've, i'm trying to set a higgins race flow heads they look really nice or a cannon valve head um if you stick with that stuff you shouldn't have too many issues if you start venturing off in the other stuff you can run into some serious problems so, so. Well, that's a wrap on uh, small block Ford nasty stuff. You guys know what's going on now. Uh, once we get that block together, we'll put it in the Bad Apple. Uh, we have an 88 millimeter force induction turbo on the way to run all steel, all glass with the Bad Apple. Two speed 400, um, Holla EFI. I mean, it's got all the good stuff, smart coils, um, EGTs. I mean, it's it's got the fries that'll cross your eyes. So. Um, it's gonna be a bad piece once it comes together, and once this motor comes together, we're gonna see how far we can push that Speedmaster block. So, uh, I think it's gonna be a blast. We got uh, Matt and Shannon, bunch bunch of guys, uh, and Ben's been over here. I mean, we've all been uh, working on this stuff, trying to get it knocked out and uh, get this thing back to the track. So, um, yeah, it's gonna wrap up today's video. Hope you guys like the small block Ford nasty section of today's video. And for all you small block Ford nasty fans, don't forget you can go to ellisnasty.com and pick up the new small block Ford nasty shirts. They say distributor in the front party in the back because that's how you guys like to rock and roll so and just kind of like these guys with their mullets over here business in the front party in the back that's it. So, all right we'll see you guys in tomorrow's upload he get to buy this round john doc got to buy this round the black seat on the property he got to buy for the next round Fifteen.